Howdy everyone, it's Coffee. Today I'm going to teach you how you can make your very own custom moveset mod for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 on PC. I've been putting off making this video for a while because I didn't know if I could execute it right, but after the Vegeta Super Saiyan 3 breakdown for my upcoming character pack, I finally decided to give it a go. I've been making moveset mods since early 2021 and I've only been improving with every set I produce. Now is the time I start to pass some of my basic skills onto the rest of the modding community, mainly beginners. There's gonna be a lot of details in this, so you may wanna pay attention, especially if you're new to this. Firstly, you're going to need six major programs that'll help you with this endeavor. You'll need to download the following. The CPK browser is needed for importing the character folders, mainly their moveset files. The EAN Automata is needed for resizing your chosen character animations to the desired character skeleton and fixing any deformations that may occur. The Ya Moveset Organizer will be needed for building the basic functions of the moveset before you do all your major editing. The Ya EAN Organizer is for editing the basic character animation files and inserting any potential skill animations that'll be used in the set. The Ya BAC Organizer is one of the biggest factors of this endeavor, as you'll need it for the major editing portion of the moveset building process, and plays the most prominent role in how certain inputs will act. The Skill Creator from Eternity Tools will be useful if you want to implement skills into your moveset. Finally, and this is more of an optional choice based on if you want to convert your final project into an X2M installable file, you will need the Costume Creator from Eternity Tools. Below in the description, I've provided a blank template for moveset scripts, which you can use to fill out which combo inputs you'd like to specifically customize and which animations slash functions you would like to use. Now, let's get started. First, you'll need to go into the CPK browser and open the data.cpk. Then you're going to open the car folder and find tons of folders with three letter IDs. These are all the character folders, including raid and story bosses. I've provided a link in the description to a Google Doc that identifies which characters align with these three letter IDs. To extract the character moveset files, head into their folders and extract the files that have their three letter ID and ending with certain file types. Extract the camera animation, which is the cam.ean, the entire character animation file, which is the ean, the skeleton, which is the esk, the underscore player.bac, the underscore player.bcm, and the underscore player.bdm. These are the moveset files. Place these into a folder with the designated character's three letter ID as the folder name. We're going to begin with the basics of which inputs are where in the moveset script template and where to locate the specific combo input entries in the BAC organizer when you go into editing. This way we don't have any confusion on where things are going. We're going to use the male earthling CAC as our example, as they have one of the more simple and easy to pick up movesets in the game. Here's the full light combo. Now the light alternate, or the 5 light 3 heavy to some people. Here's the light charge and follow-up, or the square triangle according to the PvP community. Here's the full heavy. And finally, the heavy alternate. The first half of the light combo, which is the first five light inputs, are BAC entries 300 through 304. The second half of the full light's inputs are BAC entries 340 through 343. The heavy inputs of the light alternate are BAC entries 310 through 312. The light charge inputs are BAC entries 320 through 322, with the follow-up entry being 325. The heavy 1 input, which is chargeable, goes from BAC entries 330 to 332, with the rest of the heavy combo going from entries 335 to 338. The heavy alternate technically uses inputs from three different strings. The heavy 1, 330 to 332, the light 6, 340, and its own entries being 350 through 352. The back hit entries are 360 to 362, and 365 to 367. The stamina break entries are 460 to 463. The grab entries are 600 to 604. The stance entries are 0, 1, 190, and 191. Finally, the intro entry is 210. Alright, it seems like we're finally ready to start building a moveset. You'll have to script your own moveset and identify which inputs are which with the characters you'll be using in the set. 
but for this video, I'll be providing an example. For this application, I'll be using the script for a Super Saiyan Blue Goku moveset remake requested from Kanton Mods. This moveset will be built on the GOK, or Base Goku, moveset template, meaning it will be playable on Base, God, Blue, and the pre-order Goku Black, as they all share the same moveset animation files. Before we start building, though, we need to make sure of something. The moveset files need to be properly resized and have their deformations fixed. This is how we make the moveset feel fluid and let each input flow well with one another. Because if the moveset animations aren't properly resized, there's the possibility that your character will start floating in the air or sinking through the ground. Here's a way to make resizing go faster. When you're about to save your new resized animation in the folder, consider deleting the original animation file and saved the resized one as the new file but with the same original name. This will let the EAN Automata read that there is nothing to overwrite on the original animation file, as you are creating a new one. Now that you have everything resized and ready, let's get to building the moveset. First, we're going to open Goku's moveset over on the left side of the moveset organizer. This is where your moveset will be while you build it. Then on the right, we're going to open the characters we're taking inputs from first being Bardock. Bardock's Light 1, Light 7, and Light Alternate 7 are what we're grabbing from his set, and will be placed accordingly onto where the script demands. We must also keep in mind that one of these inputs demands a BDM change. BDMs, like I stated in the Vegeta Super Saiyan 3 breakdown, are what dictate the actions of the combo animations, whether they are character exclusive or common. Common BDMs, as I've stated before, are available to everyone. The input where we are pasting the Bardock Light Alternate 7, which is this moveset's Light Alternate 8, is this combo's ending input, and demands we change the BDM to an entry that's exclusive to Full Power DBS Broly. Now what I'm going to do to ensure this, is to store the entries that have these BDM entries in different compartments of the moveset that will go unused. Entries 480, all the way to 499, mostly go completely unused by the moveset, unless you're using a BCM, which is the moveset's format, that makes it to where some combos are extended instead of having their usual amount of inputs. Some BCMs make it to where the light alternate for some characters is 9 inputs instead of 8, like with base Goku and Saiyan female CACs. Or to where the heavy combo goes up to 8 inputs instead of the regular 5, like with fused Zamasu. BCMs also dictate which combos can string into each other. For example, in the Saiyan male BCM, the heavy alternate can string into the full light combo's last two inputs if you press a light input after the heavy alternate's second to last input, which is a light attack. The full light combo's eighth input can string into the light charge follow-up if you press a heavy attack after that specific light attack. This logic occurs for other characters as well, and it's a neat way to customize your movesets as it gives you an idea for how you want your moveset to be structured and which inputs you want stringing into each other. For this moveset, we're using the Caulifla BCM, which allows for me to store a lot of the unused BDM entries into the 480 through 499 compartments of the BAC. Full Power DBS Broly's Heavy 5 will go into entry 499. Other character BDM entries that I want to use in this moveset will go into the other compartments. For now, let's get back into building the desired set. Next, we'll pull inputs from the male Earthling CAC, who takes up a good majority of this moveset, given lots of their animations come from Goku and other Earth-based fighters in the game. A good amount of these inputs are also going to have their BDM entries changed, but again, we'll worry about that when it comes time to edit inside the BAC. Now that the Earthling animations are done pasting, let's take stuff from Saiyan males, who only have two inputs from their general moveset that we shall paste. Surprisingly, we're going to pull from the DLC 16 free update version of Saiyan Males, which includes the Beast combo animations. I have a list of BAC entries that those inputs are located in, and we'll paste them where they're required. The Beast Roar input is going to be changed, specifically in terms of its animation and BDM entry. I'll be importing the skill animation of Spirit Boost into this moveset animation, or EAN, file, and I'll be assigning it to its dedicated input. To do this, I will teach you how to use simple skill animations in your moveset. First, you must have the skill creator on hand. Go to the upper left side of the window and open the tools tab, which gives you the option to import skill directory, and extract skill files into a designated folder. After locating the skill I desire, I will extract it into its own folder and look into its animation file for the exact entry that I want to use. After finding the animation I want, 
I will append the skill animation into the character movesets animation file after it is completely built. During the editing process, go into the BAC entry of the combo input you wish to use this animation on, select the BAC entry's animation subentry, and assign the skill entry's animation ID to what it is in the animation file. This may also include changing the timing of the hitbox. But this has now completely changed the combo input to be a completely different animation than it was before, but serving a similar purpose as an aura burst knockback. After pasting the beast inputs, we will begin pasting other inputs where they're supposed to go. Finally, we're changing the stance animation in intro. Remember that the stances are located in BAC entries 0, 1, 190, and 191, so we're going to change those as required. After pasting our stance, we shall paste the dem start, which is the intro. Remember that this does change the camera placement, so we're going to then replace the finished moveset's camera animation file with the original one we started with before building the whole thing. After all your inputs are customized the way you like, the basic building of your moveset is complete. And now it's time to begin editing in the BAC. These will be the final touches to the moveset. Let's begin with the full light combo. Entry 304, which is light input 5, requires a hitbox BDM change. So I'm going to assign the BDM type to character, and give this entry the BDM from Majub's Heavy 3 input. This has its own entry number in this moveset. Remember, character BDMs in your custom moveset will be different from what they are in that character's original BDM, so you must look very carefully at what the BDM is in your moveset, and not what it is in the character's original moveset. This is completely different to the common, due to the fact that all common BDM entries are the same, and, again, can be used by everyone. Majub's Heavy 3 was pasted into entry 481, so I will go there and take the hitbox BDM from that entry. Do this for the remaining combo inputs that require changes like this. Make sure to write down where you have assigned your desired character exclusive inputs, so that you know where to grab the BDMs when it comes time to edit. This is an optional part and doesn't necessarily have to be changed, but I'm going to change it because that's what I envisioned for this set. The stamina breaks will be customized. All this requires is a simple animation change in the BAC animation entry. To change the light stamina breaks animations, those will be located in BAC entries 460 and 462, while the heavy breaks are in 461 and 463. I will be changing the light stamina break to UI Sign Goku's Aura Burst animation, his light charge follow-up. Since this is an animation that is used in the moveset, I'll go to where I have assigned it and look at what animation entry it uses. I will then assign that same animation into entries 460 and 462. The same will go for the heavy stamina break entries 461 and 463, which are going to use Dispo's Heavy 4, also used in the moveset. These stamina breaks having a guaranteed landing will also depend on timing, as not all animations are meant to be stamina breaks and you'll need to choose wisely on which animation you use, because it does affect what the break will look like. This is also another optional part, but I shall be adding new cameras to some of these inputs, taken from Blue Gogeta and Kale. Timing is key to this, but what's nice is that this is as simple as pasting them into the BAC entries. For the Heavy Alt 4, which is BAC entry 351, the first of the Kale camera entries can start at frame 0 while the second camera entry will need to be assigned to activate at the same time as the hitbox. You'll also need to change the duration of these cameras to begin and end when you want them to. For the Heavy Alternate 5, which is that combo's ending, and BAC Entry 352, we'll begin with a 14 second long static camera that activates at frame 0. Then, the first Gogeta camera can start at frame 14, lasting for 10 seconds before the second camera, the impactful freeze frame camera that matches with the hitbox, can start at frame 24. Frame 24 is going to be the same frame as the Heavy Alternate 5's hitbox. With this, the cameras are complete, and here is the final result. After assigning the character BDM entries to their desired combo inputs, editing the combo damage to be balanced, implementing the skill animation, changing the stamina break animations, and customizing the cameras, it's now time to test out the finished product.
And there we have it, you've created your own custom moveset mod. Have fun playing with this in whatever game mode you desire, and maybe try making more movesets that you have ideas for. Before I forget, let's talk about how you can make your moveset into an installable X2M. First, you'll need to make a folder labeled after the three-letter ID that you make the moveset for. Then place that character folder into a Kara folder. Then place that Kara folder into a data folder. And then place that data folder into a folder you can name literally anything. Open up the costume creator, fill out the name and author of your moveset, click on Files, change the additional data, and select the folder that you've properly named. Depending on what kind of character you've made the moveset for, simply enable it for them in their specific column. Click Save, and there you go. You now have an installable moveset X2M. Sometimes there will be specific inputs in your moveset that won't connect well to combos without changing the link options in the BAC. To fix this problem, go to the BCM callback sub-entry of any inputs that aren't connecting, and simply turn on Combo for link options number 2. This will make it to where any combo inputs that are meant to be combo endings will now string into any inputs that you want them to. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys like this kind of content and want to see more, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on whenever I stream and upload. All of my social media will be in the description along with my Twitch channel, Patreon, and Discord server. Please consider supporting my Patreon if you're not already. Subscribing to the $5 or $10 tiers will give you access to request your own custom modded moveset for either your CAC or OCX2M. Each patron gets one moveset per month. Both tiers have different rules for what kind of movesets can be requested. Even the smallest support helps the content. Take it easy, y'all. My name is Coffee, and I will see you guys later. Peace.